Tokyo's utility company said on Wednesday that black smoke had been seen emerging from Unit 3 of the crippled nuclear plant in northeastern Japan, prompting a new evacuation of the complex. Officials of Tokyo Electric Power Co. said on Wednesday that workers from the entire Fukushima Daiichi plant had been temporarily evacuated. Operators of the power plant had been desperately trying to cool the reactors and spend fuel pools at the plant, after it was damaged by this month's tsunami which knocked out the power to the cooling systems. We do not understand the cause of the smoke yet, but smoke Smoke has been witnessed and observed from the number three reactor. Progress in cooling down the overheated facility has been intermittent, disrupted by rises in radiation, elevated pressure in reactors, and overheated storage pools. Earlier on Tuesday, a 50 meter long robotic arm sprayed water on a dangerously hot spent fuel pool as workers at the nuclear plant rushed to hook up power lines to all six reactors. The specialist arm was brought in to help firefighters battling to keep the spent fuel rods and the reactors themselves cool at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Emergency crews dumped 18 tons of salt water into the storage pool holding spent nuclear fuel at a number 4 reactor. That cooled it from nearly boiling to 105 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius, Japan's nuclear safety agency said. Steam, possibly carrying radioactive elements, has been seen rising for two days from the reactor building, and the move lessens the chances that more radiation will seep into the air. With the power lines connected, officials were hoping to start up the overheated plant's crucial cooling system that was knocked out during the March 11 tsunami and earthquakes. Tokyo Electric Power Company warned that workers still need to check all equipment for damage first before switching on the cooling systems, a process that could take days or even weeks. Late Tuesday night, Tokyo Electric said lights went on in the central room of Unit 3. But that doesn't mean power had been restored to the cooling system. Meanwhile, the Japanese fire department released a video on Wednesday showing firefighters in protective suits spraying water into the troubled number three reactor. The video, which was filmed last Friday, shows members of the elite hyper-rescue team of the Tokyo Fire Department during the first water injection mission. The team injected 60 tons of seawater into the reactor during the operation.